What's poppin' y'all? Welcome back to another YouTube video. Today we're taking a look at another news video where I'm gonna find the One Piece before Luffy does and I'm gonna become the King of the Pirates because right now we are looking at the action figures for the One Piece live action series. This is just gonna be an overall One Piece news video. So here is the action figures for One Piece. We do have Luffy. A lot of the focus is set on Luffy and um, Zoro in these figures, but I do think they look really cool. Moving on to the Hot Toys collectible one, uh, we do have two sets of figures. We have the sort of cheaper £10 figures and then the more expensive £300 figures here with Hot Toys collectibles. And this is Monkey D. Luffy, and he does have a sort of resemblance to Tom Holland here. I don't know why, but this is odd. This is really odd. For these figures, we do see their joints, which isn't normally a thing with Hot Toys collectibles. Like, we don't usually see their elbow joints, shoulder joints, knee joints, but here we do. And this is because they have interchangeable parts in the arms and in the legs where you can stretch them. Uh, well, not stretch them, but swap them out for longer parts to make Luffy look like he's stretching because that's his devil through power. And... I don't know, it's just weird to see that Hot Toys collectibles joints. I don't know, they they have so much detailing here though with his curly hair and his veins. His You can see like both of their veins in their arms. It's like really weird of how much like detail they put into their figures, like, like down to the veins bulging out their arms. But each figure does come with two extra heads uh, and Luffy comes with an extra hat. Here is Zoro. Uh, again, with his three swords, his arms, his joints on display. Again, very shocking, I know. But again, a very detailed figure build. And a lot of joints of articulation on both figures at the hip, the waist, the chest, the shoulders, the head, the wrists, the elbows, the knees, the ankles, and the clothes being on top of... Them is a really good fabric. They're really good quality figures. Just look at how good they are. And so detailed. I really want to get one, but I'm jealous that I don't have one. And I see people's collections with like absolutely loads of them. But <sighs> a guy can dream, right? A guy can dream. They also have their unique little stands with a One Piece logo and a couple of the pirate boards on the bottom and their names. But again, here is his £10 counterpart, which is a lot cheaper and a lot, like, cheaper made. Uh, and you can see a lot more of the joints and um, a lot more of the clothing is just plastic. So it's not as flexible or looks as good, unfortunately. But we do have the new One Piece character icons on Netflix as well. Everyone has been ranting and raving about those snail phones, but I think all the other characters look really good and have translated really well into live action. But other than that, I hope you enjoyed this YouTube video. See you all next one. Have a nice day, and I'm about to go set sail and find that One Piece. Alright, bye.